hi wonderful friends you are welcome once again back to my humble abode my channel all right so we are asked to solve for x first of all when you look at this and this you can see that both of them can be expressed in powers of two okay yeah so eight is equal to two to the power of three and four is equal to two to the power of two so let's express them that way so we have 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x plus 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x is equal to 36. Now remember that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n raised to the power of m. Okay? So that means that we can write... this as 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 2 is equal to 36. Now we have 2 to the power of x, 2 to the power of x. We can express it or we can call it something, okay? So we can say let 2 to the power of x be equal to y. Now, some of you will be like, oh, you have found the solution. No, remember that the answer is not Y. We are looking for X and not Y. Okay, so we still have a long way to go. And there are some solutions that will not be used as Y. So stay tuned and see how we did that. And at the end of this video, we are also going to explain or we are going to verify the answer we got. Okay, so we are going to right replace 2 to the power of x with y so we have y to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 2 is equal to 36 all right now if we say that a particular number raised to the power of 3 plus that same number raised to the power of 2 is equal to 36 so it means that 36 can also be expressed in terms of a particular number raised to the power of 3 plus a particular number raised to the power of 2. So if we check, the two, the number is 3. Okay? So we have y to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 2. Is equal to, if we say 3 to the power of 3, it will give us 27. And we say 3 to the power of 2, it will give us 9. And 27 plus 2 is 36. Okay? All right. Now, let us bring this to this side of the equation. So if we do that, we have y to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 2 minus, because this is plus, this will now be minus 3 to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now let us collect like terms. If we do that, we have y to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3. Okay? Then plus y to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now recall that a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b multiplied by a squared plus ab plus b squared. Okay? Now, write a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2 According to algebra identity is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So that means that we can express this as we can express this as y minus 3 multiplied by y squared plus 3 times y, which is 3y plus 3 squared, okay? Then plus, this will be y minus 3 multiplied by y plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, let us solve this. We have y minus 3 multiplied by y squared plus 3y. Three, 3 squared will give us 9. So it's going to be plus 9. Plus y minus 3 bracket y plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, we have y minus 3 here, y minus 3 here. So we are going to pick 1. 
So if we pick one y minus 3, we have y minus 3, okay? Open brackets. When this is divided by this, this will remain, right? y squared plus 3y plus 9. Now, when this is divided by this, this will remain plus y plus 3 is equal to 0. So, let us continue. Please click the subscription button. Turn on your notification bell. <laughs> if this is the first time you are coming across this channel, okay? Give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Thank you very much. So, we have y minus 3 bracket y squared 3y plus y. We give us 4y plus 4y. Now, 9 plus 3, we give us plus 12. All right, is equal to zero. So this simply means that y minus three is equal to zero, y squared plus four y plus 12 is equal to zero as well. Now, from here, we can say that y is equal to three. We are going to come back to this to solve for x, okay? Then from here, we can solve that using the quadratic equation formula that states that y will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. Now from here, our a is the coefficient of y squared, which is 1. Our B is the coefficient of Y, which is 4. Our C is our constant, which is 12. So you have A is 1, B is 4, and C is 12. So let's continue. Let's substitute this into this particular formula. If we do that, we have Y is equal to minus 4, plus or minus square root of 4 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 12, right? That is 4ac divided by 2 multiplied by 1. That is 2a. y is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 48 divided by 2. So if we solve for that, we have y is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 48 will give us 32. So we have minus 32 divided by 2. Now, <laughs> excuse me, 32 can be expressed as 16 multiplied by 2. So we have y is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 multiplied by minus 2. Oh, okay, multiplied by 2, multiplied by minus 1 because of the negative sign, divided by 2. Now remember that square root of a multiplied by b is equal to square root of a multiplied by square root of b. Have you given us a thumbs up yet? If not, please do that. That is if you are actually enjoying this video. Okay? All right. Now, we can write this as y is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 multiplied by square root of 2 multiplied by square root of minus 1 everything divided by 2 right so we have y is also equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 root 2i right divided by 2 now we can factorize 2 out so we have y is equal to 
2 brackets minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2. Okay? Plus or minus 4 divided by 2 is 2. Root 2i divided by 2. Now 2 we divide itself and we are left with We are left with y is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 2 root 2i. Now, even though I've claimed that, boy, I can still remember that we, we got, we said y is equal to 2 to the power of x because we got 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x. 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 2 is equal to 36. So we made the statement, let 2 to the power of x be equal to y, okay? I'm sorry I've claimed that, but I can still remember. All right. So because our y is equal to 2 to the power of x, it simply means that we are going to solve this using log reading, all right? So if we use log reading, it means that remember that you cannot find the logarithm of a negative number. It's not possible. So because it's not possible to find the log of a negative number, y equals minus 2 plus or minus 2 root 2i will give us negative number. So we cannot actually use this to get the value of our x. Yeah. Now, let us go to only real value that we got. Here we got y to be equal to 3, right? Yes, that is what we got. So, if we say y is equal to 3, we are going to write that 3 is equal to 2 to the power of x, okay? Step it, we are going to prove that the answer we got is correct. So, now, the only way to get the value of x, because it is the exponent of this, is to introduce log to both sides. So we introduce log, we have log. 3 is equal to log 2 to the power of x. Now remember that when you have log a raised to the power of b is equal to b multiplied by log a. So we can now write, we can now write, log 3 is equal to x multiplied by log 2. Now, let's divide both sides of this equation by log 3. So, we have divided by log 3, divided by log 3, okay? So, we have, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Oh, sorry, that is not what I'm supposed to do. Because I want to get the value of x. I'm supposed to divide through by log 2 to get my x. So this is log 3. I'm sorry about that. Now let us divide both sides by log 2. So we divide this side by log 2 and this side by log 2 as well. Now log 2, we cancel log 2. We are left with x is equal to log 3 divided by log 2. Now remember the change of base. Okay? Using the change of base, you can say log A divided by log B is equal to log A base B. Okay? Now, we can write X to be equal to log 3 base 2. Now, let us prove that the answer we got is correct. Okay? So, the question says that 8 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 36. Now, let us prove that the answer we got is right. 8 to the power of log 3 base 2 plus 4 to the power of log 3 base 2. Let's see if this is equal to 36. Okay, so 8 can be expressed as 2 to the power of 3. So we have 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of log 3 base 2 plus 4 is same thing as 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of log 3 base 2. 
is this actually equal to 36 now remember that this will multiply this right when you have a to the power of m raised to the power of n then this can multiply this so we have 2 to the power of 3 log 3 base 2 plus 2 to the power of 2 log 3 base 2 now is this actually equal to 36 now remember that this can come up to become the power of this right so we have 2 to the power of log 3 to the power of this 3 then base 2 plus 2 to the power of this 2 will become the power of this log 3 to the power of 2 base 2 as well is equal to 36 okay so we have 2 to the power of log 2 3 to the power of 3 is 27 okay base 2 plus 2 to the power of log 3 squared is 9 base 2 is this equal to 36 now i want us to recall recall this law of log reading that states that a to the power of log b base a this is equal to b a to the power of log b base a is equal to b so we'll write this as this and this are equal so this is 27 similarly this is 9 is this equal to 36 and yes 36 is equal to 36 so that proves that the answer we got is correct thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye